Okay, so here is the gallery tool that we're developing uh, to display images with titles and captions. So in the back end, uh, I've put in a tool called Foo Gallery. Foo Gallery. And uh, all you need to do is click Galleries because I've already made the test one. And it's called Chapter News and Events. So we'll just click here. And you can see it pretty much looks like what you're getting on the front end. There's the front end. It's four columns. Uh, the pictures are all squared and so on. So here it is. Now, these are all the settings below, all the customizations. So you don't need to worry about that. In fact, I'm going to close it here. And I even have some CSS. But let's say you simply want to add a new picture. Okay, so you just click here, Add Media. So you can use a picture from your gallery that you already have, or you may want to upload a new one. So let's select a file, and um, let's just pick, uh, let's see, we're going to go to here, and we're going to go here, we're going to go here, and um, let's just pick out some random picture like this, and click OK. And there it is. You can see it's been added to the gallery. And here's your chance to add a title and a caption. Okay, and then we're just going to click Add. And there it is. So it's added it to the end of the gallery. Now, you can also drag this around. Let's say you want to say, well, I really would like it here. Okay, then you dragged it over one, and you're going to update the gallery. So now, when you look at the web, the web page, you will refresh it and see that the new image has been added here. Uh, another feature I added was uh, a light box, so that when you click one of these items, it'll blow up into this image which is a slider basically and it has right and left arrow buttons or you can use your arrow keys it displays the title and the uh, caption automatically although you can close that if you want and it resizes depending on the original ratio and size of the picture and if you just click the page underneath it it disappears so that's a handy tool I have it also operating on some other images throughout the site now, another way to do this is, in case you've forgotten to find the gallery or can't find the gallery, you can always just go to the page where the gallery is displayed. And I have the page here. I just called it a Foo Gallery Test. And if you go there, all it's got is this gallery embedded. So you can start from this end as well and click this, and either you could always delete it or you can edit it. It basically brings you to the same area. It brings you to the gallery, which is here in Foo Gallery, same place. So that's it.